Red Feather from Grep Hacks. In this credit video, we will be further showing you our artistic capabilities that can be gained utilizing the gradient tool of Krita. I know most people prefer a straightforward approach. This is how you do this, or this is how you do that. But it is of my opinion that the Krita Gradient tool and its affiliated functions are that similar to pottery, if you will, and if you get my point. The image with text that you're seeing was created utilizing Krita, then saved as a PNG and imported into Kadian Live for this Krita example. At the end of this example, we have added a bonus procedure. This includes, but is not limited to, the use of the Krita brush feature. So, let's buckle up and get our Krita artistic value in gear. Open Krita, create a new canvas, in this procedure, there is no prep to be done. So, click on the gradient tool. Once this is done in Krita, click on Tools and Options. If you wish to follow our procedure, in the Shapes drop-down menu, click on Linear. And, in the Repeat drop-down menu, click on alternating. Then go to the Krita Canvas, give it a click, hold, and then drag. Then release. Now you might be saying, mine looks nothing like yours. Not even close. Let us take a moment so as I can explain the way this Krita Gradient tool works as best I can. The length of the line drawn controls the amount and thickness. The direction of the drag controls placement. Now this gradient tool, rule of thumb, is a bit ambiguous, as you will see as we proceed. But that is okay, because that is what sets us apart and makes my work mine and yours yours. Now. Let us go to the Krita Color Picker and choose yet another color. You could choose what color you would like, but we have chosen red. And on the canvas, have changed our direction of line drag. That is kind of cool looking, but look what happens if I get carried away with yet another drag and Krita line direction chain. It is totally too much for me. So let me undo this. Next, go back to the Krita color picker, choosing yet another color, ours being yellow. You can choose the color you would like. Then back to the Krita canvas, giving it a click and a line drag. Nope, not what I'm looking for. So let us remove this and then back to the Krita canvas, changing the direction and length of the line drag. Ah, there we go. Much better. Now, let's go back to the Krita color picker, choosing yet another color, ours being a green. And then to the Krita canvas, giving it the line drag and release. Not what I'm looking for. So let us remove this and then go back to the Krita color picker. And this time we will choose a blue. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the tools and options, go to the repeat drop down menu and click on forward. Then to the color picker, choosing yet another color we choose yellow. Then to the canvas, giving it the line drag and release. 
not what I'm looking for. So let us remove this. And let's try a direction change of the drag and shorten it. Looks okay, but I still don't like it. And let us move on to something different. So for this credit example, we will be adding a credit layer. So if you're following along, go to the layers, click the plus symbol to add another layer. We will not be removing any of the layers just in case you have created something you like and at the end of this video you can highlight that critter layer, shut off the eyelets of the other layers, go to file and save as a PNG. Now that we have created our new critter layer, shut off the eyelet to the other layer we were just working on. Then go back into Tools and Options in the Shapes drop-down menu. Click on Square. Then to the Canvas, giving the line drag and release. Let's go back to the Color Picker, choosing another color. We choose blue, then back to the credit canvas, giving it the line drag, and then moving in another line drag. Maybe this is something you like, but not for me. So let me remove some of these credit actions, and then to the credit color picker. To choose yet another color. We choose red. Then go to the Critic Canvas in order to give it the line drag. Trying something new never hurts. Whatever it is, a direction change or length change of the line drag or a simple color change. But I think the last one was a bit much. Let me remove it. Now, back to the color picker to bring in yet another color. This time, we have chosen green. Then, to the canvas, in order to give it the line drag and release. Now, let us switch it up a little. Go back to the Credit Tools and Options. Click the Repeat drop-down menu, clicking on Alternate, then back to the canvas, giving it the click and line drag. Then back to the Credit Color Picker to choose yet another color. We have chosen yellow. And to the canvas for placement. Then back to the credit tools and options. In the shapes drop down menu, choose shaped. Then to the credit canvas for placement. Not what I'm looking for, let us remove it. Let us go back to the tools and options of Krita. In the shapes drop down menu, Click on Reverse Spiral, and then to the Critic Canvas for Placement. Now that we see what the Reverse Spiral can do, let us go to the Critic Layers, add a new layer, and shut this layer eyelet off. Once this is done in Critic, go to the Critic Canvas, giving it the line drag, and release. Then to the color picker, choosing yet another color. We choose red. Then to the credit canvas for placement. Then choosing another color, we choose blue this time. Then to the canvas for placement. Then 
Back to the Krita Color Picker. This time, we choose green. And back to the canvas floor placement. Now, let us go back to the Krita layers, adding another layer and shutting off this eyelet. Then go to the Krita Tools and Options. In the Shapes drop-down menu, click on Spiral. Then to the Canvas for Placement. To the Krita Color Picker, this time we have chosen Blue. Then returning to the Canvas for Placement. Then back to the Color Picker. This time we choose Red and to the canvas for the placement. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the tools and options. In the shapes drop down menu, click on square and then to the canvas. Give it the line drag and release. But not what I'm looking for. Let me remove this. Go back to the Tools and Options. This time, clicking on Radial. And then, to the Credit Canvas for implementation. Now, let us go back to the layers, adding yet another layer. And shut this Credit Layers eyelet off. And then, go to Tools and Options, in the Shapes drop-down menu, choose Linear. And to the Canvas for Placement. Then back to Tools and Options. In the Shapes drop-down menu, choosing by Linear. Next, to the Color Picker. We choose Blue this time. And to the Canvas for placement. Then back to the color picker, choosing yet another color. We choose yellow this time, and then choosing and then choosing blue, placing them both on the canvas. Now for the bonus section of our video that we promised at the start of this video. Next Going back to Tools and Options, in the Shapes drop-down menu, clicking Square. And in the Repeat, Credit drop-down menu, clicking Forward. Then to the Credit Canvas for the Line Drag Placement. Then go back to Tools and Options, in the Repeat drop-down menu, click None. Next. Go back to the Critic Color Picker, choosing the color red. Then go to the Canvas for placement. Then back to the Critic Color Picker, choosing yellow. Next, go back to the Critic Canvas. Notice as I place the squares that look similar to stars, the smaller Placement gives the appearance of distance farther away and the larger much closer. Next, go to the Credit Tools and Options. In the Shapes drop down menu, choose Canonical Symmetric. Go to the Color Picker, choosing Blue. Then to the canvas for placement. <clears throat> Notice my placement. I did not cover everything. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the color picker, choosing yellow. Then to the tools and options. In the shapes drop down menu, clicking on square. Then to the canvas for placement, making some smaller and some larger, but not too large 
and not too many. As we need to leave room for other things we will place in a minute. We chose to put between six or seven. Next, go to the credit toolbox, clicking on the brush tool. Then, go to Edit Brush. Scroll over to Predefined and click. Scroll down to the circle hard erode and then click. Go to the credit scratch pad and give it a click. Notice it is a bit small. Notice the slider bar that says size. Adjust the size to 413.49 px. Then give it another click on the scratch pad. So to see the size adjustment. Then off click to return to the Krita canvas. Go to the Krita color picker choosing green. Then back to the canvas. Notice we have chosen a nice clear area for our planet like simulation. Go back to the color picker choosing red and then to the Krita canvas. Notice our placement for our red planet. Sure, we covered a couple of other colors, but that is okay. Next, go back to the Krita edit brush. We should still be in the predefined area. We need to make a size adjustment so as we can have our simulated planets smaller for a distant look. Go to the size slider bar, lowering it to 125.00 px. Then go to the Krita scratch pad, giving it a click to see the size adjustment. Off click to return to the canvas. Next, go to the Krita color picker, choosing dark blue. Notice the area I have chosen for placement. Once again, in a nice clear area. And then the second placement as well. Once you are done making your placements, of your planets and you are happy, go back to Edit Brush and click on Auto. Then off click to return to the canvas. And if you wish, you can now save this to a PNG. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.